James Webb Space Telescope can do more than capture amazing sky photos. The observatory found carbon dioxide in an extrasolar planet's atmosphere for the first time. It found gas on gas giant WASP-39b, 700 light years from Earth. This discovery illuminates the planet's makeup. The study published in Nature shows that Webb may be able to identify and analyze carbon dioxide in the weaker atmospheres of tiny, rocky planets. Before we get into this incredible result, let's review some of WASP-39b's important traits. WASP-39b Introduction WASP-39b is a hot gas giant 1.3 times Jupiter's diameter and one-fourth its mass. Its high temperature, which is around 1600 degrees Fahrenheit or 900 degrees Celsius, is partly responsible for its extraordinary puffiness. In February 2011, the WASP project discovered Boca Prince, or WASP-39b, a hot Jupiter extrasolar planet. Water dominates its atmosphere. For the first time, exoplanet WASP-39b's atmosphere included carbon dioxide. WASP-39b lies in Virgo, 700 light years from Earth. In contrast to the colder, more compact gas giants in our solar system, WASP-39b orbits its style very closely at roughly 1.8 times the distance between the Sun and Mercury and completes one circuit in a little over four Earth days. This planet's 2011 discovery was due to its periodic dimming of two stars as it transits. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer satellite telescopes previously detected water vapor, sodium, and potassium in the planet's atmosphere. NASA released WASP-39b spectroscopic data from JWST. The observatory found hazy clouds and water on WASP-39b, which was thought to be dry. The discovery of carbon dioxide on this planet, which Webb's exceptional infrared sensitivity has now confirmed, is what's new. Starlight screened for exoplanets made this discovery feasible. Scientists aim their telescopes to discover the chemical makeup of the planetary atmosphere. They examined how the atmosphere filters starlight at wavelengths that correspond to different chemicals. Instead of seeing them from above, transiting planets like WASP-39b, whose orbit we witness, may be used by researchers to analyze the atmosphere of the planets during transit. Some of the starlight is partially blocked by the planet, causing overall darkness while some of it is transmitted through the planet's atmosphere by evaluating minute oscillations in the brightness of the transmitted light over a number of wavelengths. Due to its inflated atmosphere and rapid transit, gases absorbed multiple color combinations, allowing scientists to precisely analyze an atmosphere's makeup. Transmission spectroscopy and carbon dioxide detection are excellent on WASP-39b. The researchers observed WASP-39b on July 10 using Webb's near-infrared spectrograph and NERSPEC. The exoplanet's spectra show the first clear evidence of carbon dioxide in a planet's atmosphere beyond our solar system around 4.1 to 4.6 microns. There is no space for question. It is clearly existing on the planet WASP-39b. According to planetary scientist and co-author Peter Galp of the Carnegie Institute for Science in Washington, D.C., the new telescope's August 24, 2022 discovery represents its first full scientific finding. It also suggests that smaller, stony worlds may have greenhouse gases like Earth's. Zafar Rustum Kolov, a John Hopkins University alumnus who works on the JWST Transiting Exoplanet Community, early release science tape said that the massive carbon dioxide feature captivated him. He said exoplanet science reached a milestone, making it remarkable. Every scientist is pleased with this finding. Such a revolutionary change has never before been seen by an observatory. This produces a wide range of colors in the planetary transmission spectrum between 3 and 5.5 microns, which is essential for determining the concentrations of gases like water, methane, and carbon dioxide in various exoplanet forms. Natalie Battaglia of the University of California Santa Cruz is directing the project. She said finding a specific carbon dioxide signal on WASP-39b is hopeful for discovering atmospheres on planets with similar terrestrial masses. Understanding the planet's atmosphere can reveal how it originated over time. Asteroids may have boosted carbon on Earth and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The planet's atmosphere may have more carbon dioxide if the star's radiation destroyed lighter elements. According to Arizona State University's Mike Liner, 
carbon dioxide molecules are sensitive tracers with a tail of a planet's genesis. We may establish the ratio of solid to gaseous components utilized in the creation of this gas giant planet. Over the following decade, the JWST will measure several planets, providing planet genesis and solar system peculiarities. Carbon dioxide may exist in atmospheres across the universe, despite needing a JWST-powered telescope to find it. Batala claims that carbon dioxide is prevalent in the atmospheres of all planets. Vital chemical, Astronomers intend to use the JWST in the future to identify compounds like carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, like those that are created by structured stars like TRAPPIST-1 or small rocky planets. Some of those planets are far enough from their star to support liquid water, making them attractive places to hunt for life. WASP-39b shows that exoplanets can have very different compositions from those in our solar system, according to co-author David Singh of Exeter University. Exoplanet diversity may help comprehend planet formation and evolution. Water is the primary cause of the strongest spectral signatures. While anticipating to detect water, the researchers were taken aback by the volume of water. WASP-39b, which has more water than our famed ring friend, may have developed differently in this hot Saturn. Water indicates that the planet formed far from the star after heavy ice material bombardment. WASP-39b has a fascinating evolutionary history as it moved throughout its planetary system and possibly destroyed planetary objects in its route. WASP-39b is one of the most notable WASP discoveries due to Hubble, Spitzer, and VWT observations. This is because it has low surface gravity, making it the perfect candidate for atmospheric characterization as a Saturn mass planet with a bloated radius. The sky is clear and ghostly, the numerous data sets have now been integrated by a team at Exeter University led by Hannah Wakeford to create the planet's most comprehensive spectrum since water vapor dominates the spectrum. But sodium and potassium lines and a strong scattering slope near the blue end contribute. The near-spec prism observation of WASP-39b is part of a larger study. Web-based planet research contained observations of two more transiting planets. The inquiry, part of the early release of the web data science effort, aims to quickly provide exoplanet researchers with web data. According to Oxford University co-investigator Vivian Palmad, the goal is to analyze early release science observations quickly and develop open source tools for the science community to use. This allows contributions from around the world and ensures the best possible science from the coming decades of observations. NASA's open science policies emphasize early research dissemination to promote an inclusive, transparent, and collaborative scientific process. Patala Sense Web can now observe distant planets' atmospheres. More discoveries are likely. We are fortunate to be alive at a moment when the cosmos is being investigated and one of life's most fundamental questions has been solved. Do we occupy a solitary universe? For better or worse, the James Webb Telescope could reveal. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on any new updates about the James Webb Telescope. Also, we have another crazy space story ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you onto another space adventure. See you there!